Hey guys, welcome back to Collider Behind the Scenes and Bloopers. Today's episode is something you've been asking for. I have heard a lot of comments asking, how did people wind up working at Collider? So you know what? Whole group is going to tell you right now. I want to know. Hi. Yes. How did you wind up working at Collider? It's a great question. Bribery and drugs. Oh, that's a scandalous <laughs> question, Perry. So how did I like how did I end up working here with all you yahoos? I had met John at a different company a long time ago and we actually were doing similar stuff. We were doing live streaming discussion type videos. His show in particular was a movie related show. In July of 2003, I started something called The Movie Blog, and just as a blog to talk about movies. I was working in law at the time, and my buddies uh, had an intervention with me and told me you, uh, this is what you love to do. You love movies more than you love law. You should quit your job and try doing this blogging thing full time. And I did it. One thing led to another. Then we hit a million viewers. Time Magazine did an article on us. Uh, and then AMC contacted me, said we want to do something online. Will you come help us do it? And I did. And the rest is history. I actually started uh, with the AMC Movie Talk when they were doing it as a freelancer. Some people don't know that we actually were at AMC before. So shortly after leaving AMC, I'd still had a really good relationship with some of the big guys over at AMC, and they let me know that AMC was planning on shutting AMC Movie News down. And I went, well, crap. A friend of ours, uh, Steve Frosty Weintraub, mm -hmm. he got in touch with me and said, look, I recently sold Collider.com to this company complex. I really think you need to have a conversation with them before you make any other decisions. I feel like it's like a sports team trading like a, a high draft pick to another sports team. So they traded, it almost like they traded us to Collider and Complex. So basically you just preferred the color green over red. Uh, yeah, that's obviously. Why, that's why you joined a obviously. certain sports team, because you like their mascot or their team colors. Yeah. <laughs> this thing that a lot of people had put a lot of energy and effort into making happen and work and continue, and we wanted to make sure everybody, the team was able to stay together. And so uh, I ditched the other thing I was gonna do, and I ended up being here at Complex and Collider. I think that was a good move. Well, I, I think it, I think it's worked out okay. I think it's worked I'm, out pretty, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty damn happy. I'm okay. glad you made that move. Dennis, um, an old friend of mine, used to work at a place called Music Plus TV together about 10 years ago. Uh, he gave me my first job out in L.A., and I saw him walking in front of my local uh, kind of grocer mark place, and there he was, and looked at me. I looked at him. The rest is history. Weirdly enough, my husband was the one who got me the job. I used to come home from work and he was watching this program on his computer of like four little floating heads and I lasted about 10 minutes watching and I was like, this is the boringest crap I've ever watched. <laughs> I was friends, friends and off-duty co-workers with Josh McCuga. Josh and I, uh, Josh and I got together first as friends, uh, then as lovers. I actually was not working for a long time because I was on a show, so I didn't have to work for a while, which sounds really cool, but it was actually super miserable and I was really depressed. Because you're just not busy, you're not productive, and it was not, it was not fun. Somehow Dustin was friends with John Campy on Facebook, and John was looking for an assistant. And he's like, Wendy, you should totally apply. And I, I was like, I should not apply. Out of everybody who would be applying, I'm like the bottom of the barrel. And about three hours after I sent in my resume, I got an email from John Campion. And he's like, hey, I'd love to meet. And um, not one, not two, but three meetings, including a really intimidating one with Dennis Zen, where I almost cried because he like <laughs> sat back and he's like, I don't understand why you want to work here. Tell me why you want to work here. I'm like, I don't really know I why I'm here. That. And after that, uh, he was doing a live show uh, that was a comedy show, but it was kind of styled like a talk show. And uh, I went to a went to one one evening of it at a theater uh, and called him up the next day and said, "Hey, you should really make that into an actual show." Uh, and I know how to do that, so let's collaborate. And so we started working on it. Um, built a little set in his living room. Uh, which has gone through a few iterations. Hands down though, one of the most impressive in-home sets I've ever seen. John and I had mutual friends who introduced us when he was looking for an assistant like a year and a half ago. And so I sent in my resume, I interviewed, went through like 379 interviews. And this is what John does. He's all like, okay, so like it's you. <laughs> He's all like, so it's down to you and what other <laughs> To be clear, I never actually gave her the job. She just kept showing up. <laughs> and it was no, then kind of, I, then it was awkward. We came out of that third meeting and John's like, I need to talk to you. And I said, sure. And he's like, so that was not the best meeting 
that you've had、uh, what happened I was like Dennis is scary I don't know what to say he said one where he hates me and he's like he doesn't even know you like he hates me、um, so apparently he liked me enough everybody、uh, enjoyed the interview I guess so I ended up keeping John's assistant <laughs> so he calls me and he's like so it's down to you and one other girl and he's like so why should I hire you so I like went like full like boss、I、mode and I was like I went like bulletproof <laughs> like bullet points bulletproof bullet points down <laughs> like about all the reasons why I'm awesome and he goes you know like thank you so much for coming in like blah 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 but we decided to go with somebody else and I was like、oh, okay like no worries like so nice meeting you like blah blah and he was like just kidding we're hiring you and I was like ah it's like <laughs> he's smiling as I'm talking about it I literally <laughs> I wasn't like you actually did that and I bribed him with cookies I was like I'll, I'll bring in cookies like it like <laughs> yeah And, so, and I was all like professional. I was like, oh, like, no worries. And I was all bummed. And then he was like, just kidding. And then we went to a screening that night. I was like, you're a jerk. <laughs> and here I am all, these, all this time later. After a 17 year career in another field that was a day job, but I'd been doing、uh, comedy and entertainment and writing that whole time,、uh, I got a full time job as a producer and writer for Screen Junkies. And was working over there with the great、uh, guys and gals over there, and I helped build、uh, Screen Junkies Plus. <laughs> All right, so I was working at the time as,、uh, as, as a managing editor at、uh, geeknation.com, and Christian called me and he said there's a position opening up that would be a liaison between Movie Talk and the dot com. I was a manager at a movie theater. Ah, that was the glorious we, we have a lot of people with movie theater backgrounds. Yeah, yeah it, it sounds like a good idea at the time when you're applying for one of your first jobs and then you stay there for like five years and wonder what the hell happened to your life. But yeah, it's good. <laughs> and how'd you find out about Schmoes?、Uh, I was a fan for、ah. the longest time, and then they said they were looking for a new intern, and then I, of course, thought no way they would pick me. but... Cops needed someone to carpool with on the way to the studio. I think that's the only reason, that's the only reason I got the gig. So,、yeah. so I interned、um, for Schmoes for a long time. Eventually, as it progressed in life, I became the producer of the show, which we produce here at the Collider Studio. So、um, they offered me a position to produce full time. And then at the same time, Collider offered me a position to、uh, do some things here as well. And so it kind of just worked out. I was able to leave my job and pursue my career and work on YouTube full time. My heart was always with those, those <laughs> dastardly schmoes. Can't imagine why. Christian Harloff and Mark Ellis are two of my longest、uh, oldest friends in this business. Met them 2003, 2004 range. So it's been a long time. For the, we were all stand up comedians together. And、uh, the opportunity arose that I could join the ranks of Collider over here. And it was a hard decision because Screen Junkies was a great job. And they're great folks over there. But、um, at the end of the day, It's your buddies, and you're gonna join your buddies. It's like Young Guns 1 and 2, pals, man. I was an intern at Schmoes No for about back in 2014, and I got promoted to be an engineer of the show and sort of run the things behind the scenes. And that was only one day a week, though, so obviously I needed something else to do. And then Christian hit me up saying they're launching a bunch of new shows at Collider, and they're gonna need to share the load a little bit. So I came here. I did not botch the interview, miraculously, because I can't talk <laughs> to people. But,、uh, and then I ended up here. It's been a lot of fun. I was right for the. For the Position. I came in. I had Christian's seal of approval, but I needed Dennis's seal of、Ooh. approval. So I came and, I, man to and I, yes, and I interviewed with Dennis Zen, the Zen master. I sat down and Dennis did a hell of an interview. I thought I, well, I nailed it. And here I am. I'm so happy you're here. Me too. I'm so happy all of us are here. Look、I、at、know. these people. You're all sedan around looking at me. Just, they're okay. How did you get hired here? I'm kidding. This is my interview. <laughs> This is my interview, damn it. Back in the day, I was freelancing for a whole bunch of different outlets. Like, really,、yeah. almost every single outlet that's part of that collider circle. I work for Coming Soon, I work for Screen Rant. Run. And kind of like you, I was working with all these great, great people. Freelancing is kind of fun because you get to make your own schedule, but all I wanted、mm. in the world was a full time job. Yeah. So I just sat back and I freelanced, and then the only reason I'm here is because Collider's own Steve Frosty Weintraub、mm -hmm. offered me my first full time job. And, and we're thankful to Frosty for offering、yeah. you that job. I mean, we wouldn't be Collider without Frosty. We got to give Frosty a little、we、shout out. We wouldn't be col Collider without Frosty, and I don't know if we'd be Collider Video without Perry Nemero. Well. I'm pretty、right. sure that's how this segment is ending. Listen to what that guy said right there. And 
because I get to play with a fancy gym because I work in a cool studio. Look at this. Look at this. Perry! Ah, what the ah, hell? Ah, it's the one thing I do here. Run away! Fired. I don't want to know where to run and not trip over anything. Don't mess with my gym shot, ah. Perry! Come on! <laughs> Here in Burbank, California, and I don't know which one is mine. There it is. We are so glad you decided to make it part of your day. Hey, Cody, want to do... Aw. Aw. I work with a bunch of jerks. Most of our fans are really, really friendly. They when super I say most, are, I guess yes. I say like 97%. Yeah. A couple, couple people get a little too weird, like the, hey, like super smiley, and that's that's cool. Uh, yes, uh, students do not pay companies for free advertising. I like products. how you answer that like Jeff Goldblum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, um, yes, um, Goldblum. Yes, um, Uh, let's talk about this. If you got any kids listening, you may want them to have like oh. ear earmuffs oh, or whatever. Oh, oh. Earmuffs. Oh boy. Because do you ask why I do this? Why? Because it's Wednesday. <laughs> it is now time for your pick of the week. Yeah. Yay! 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 Thanks, sir. This is what I say to those people who booed the movie. Shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> like, oh. Shut the fuck up. My kids. Like, like, I don't understand. <laughs> if you see John and you're like, eee! like they start beelining towards him, that probably bugs him out. So imagine three extra geebed out sweaties. It can't be out. Like beelining towards the man. You got to chill, relax, slow creep. Do a slow creep up on him. Be like, yo, son, freak him out. Don't do that either. Radiator Springs at, 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 at California Adventure is one of my favorite rides. So I guess cars work. great. Great. And I'll tell you what you do. You go single rider. You skip past the 90 minute line. 20 minutes. You're good. Just ride. Break up a date. You'll sit there third wheel in the, in the car's ride. I don't own an animal. So to me, this, I just am excited to You're see You're heartless. It. I know it's not that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just, just saying it's because I, uh, because I might be getting a cat. No lie. So yeah, it's oh, very serious. I'm, I'm it's serious. so hard not to derail this whole conversation right now. <laughs> I have so many questions. Seriously happy. I, I, you know, <laughs> me... Christian uh, and uh, Jeremy and, and Mark, you were there. Thank Came you for remembering. Listen, how bad did you panic when you saw me putting this around code? I'm still a little speechless, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I did mention it to him that it is very expensive. Uh, he just proceeded to spin Cody faster and, and wrap him up even more. Would you rather have a lifetime supply of gummy sharks or Swedish fish? Gummy sharks. Gummy sharks. Gummy sharks? Yeah. You got him? Back outside. What do you got him? That's like the worst surprise ever. My bag is sitting outside. And you had gummy sharks! I, ha I have presents that I'll bring in after. Aww. 47 meters down in Bride to Be, I can't see either of those films hitting the $35 million mark. <laughs> hey, John, you called it Bride to Be. It's called Rough Night. But. Did I, I say Bride to you Be? You did. You, but you oh, know what? I'm sorry. No, sorry. But actually, <laughs> I was you're like. You're like some sort of weird foreign film translator. Like, <laughs> right. oh, well, when it comes out in Canada, it's called Bride to Be. Yeah. Think about Picasso. This is what this is the type of stuff that he thought. That's Picasso. No, I don't, I'm not saying that. This, this is bullshit. This is what this is. It's bullshit. You son of a... No, you... I'm right. You're wrong. Ah, I love USC. Fight on, brother. Yeah. I'm going to walk away now. Peace, dude. We just want everything at our fingertips now. You know, yes. we're becoming the Wall E people. That's just how life's going to go. So we might as well accept it. We might as well just accept Hang it. Hang on a second, Rogan. Oh, where's my floaty it? chair? Yeah, where is, uh, where, I don't want to be like some slab like dude floating with a giant slurpee. Relax. I'm, I'm losing weight. Here you go. No, that's just fucking. See? That's litter. He just that littered. Is, that is why this he just threw a six dollar ball. In this company. Here, let me let me let me see this. No, that's effective. Use take two, Copster. Spanx. No, don't listen to Frank. Use take two. Don't squash me. And beside her, Wendy Lee. The Movie Couple channel on YouTube and at Wendy Lee Zaney on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And uh, looking a lot like Ashy there. <laughs> it's like the end of the day, like, uh, I, I still managed to, like, wipe my neck with <laughs> I'm like, does that sound good? Does it sound right? Um, <laughs> I was in Vegas. And I, I still don't think this is going anywhere. No, I did. I was in Vegas, and there's a there's a dealer there. What was his name? I forget. 
Uh, Bonzo. Bonzo. No, that's a fucking clown. She put out another movie. What was it called? Do Me By The Sea or whatever she did with Brad Pitt. <laughs> Just by the sea, Joe. <laughs> Just, by the, <laughs> Just by the sea. Frank, is do we a good cat? He is a good cat. He does the gentlest meows. Oh. Meow. Not like that. It's <laughs> like a sexual meow. <laughs> and John was this guy. He was, I think he was in his, what, his 50s? Uh, 65, actually. He was 65. And I, where was he originally from? Uh, Tennessee. He was from Tennessee. <laughs> Yeah. I see if I can get it in my mouth. <laughs> you know, I actually was not even trying to be dirty. That's how good. <laughs> I got a call from a Mr. Christian Harloff. Who's that? You seem very. There he is. <laughs> He's right there. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye. Roka. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Harloff called me one day. Hey, Christian, how do you feel about behind the scenes? <laughs> Get out of here. Happy Friday, guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please hit those comments below. Give me more ideas for future behind the scenes episodes. Clearly, I like them, so I want more. And you know what? While you wait for next week's episode, we have a whole playlist full of behind the scenes, and you got some ones right here you can click on. It's super easy. You should click on those. You should navigate to more of them. You should send them to your friends and family. Do it now.